Hey guys, it's me Ella. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a try on haul of a bunch of new clothes that I've gotten in the past couple of months. It's going to be a bunch of new clothes for the continuing winter season and the soon approaching spring season. This is kind of a collective haul of January and February mostly. Just like looking at the stack of clothes next to me, everything is very cohesive. And it's sort of like its own mini capsule wardrobe, which is crazy. I didn't even realize, but I guess I definitely have some strong preferences right now. So first I'm going to start with the clothes that I got from PacSun slash Brandy Melville. The first thing that I got is actually this necklace that I'm wearing. I wanted to show it first. It's the super cool like pendant charm necklace, which I've been on the hunt for. I've been seeing them on Pinterest and Instagram a lot. And this is like the one of the first times I've seen them being sold at the stores. They're really starting to sell these in all the big stores like Urban Outfitters and PacSun. And I really like this one because it's not too crazy and it's pink and I like this black string that it's on. I think it's super cute and a perfect like accessory for a simple outfit. Next, I got two tops. So I'll start with the first t-shirt that I got. It's this like black short sleeve t-shirt, not super cropped or anything, just a graphic tee. It's got this like guy playing guitar and it says radio silence, which I realized is not even real. Like I think it's just like some made up band they created for the print, but I don't really care. And I love how simple it is. And there's just a little bit of pop of color with the red. You can really wear this with anything. And I mainly bought it because I love the fit of these shirts and the material that they're made of and the cut. It's just perfect. The next shirt that I got is another plain t-shirt. This one's way more basic. It's literally a plain gray t-shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt though, perfect for winter. And it's so basic, but sometimes that's what you need. Just something simple to pair with an outfit. You can use it for layering wear it on its own, kind of spice up an outfit, and it's just a good base layer. It's pretty wrinkly because I wore it a couple of days ago, so don't yell at me for that. It's, again, I love the Brandy Melville fit and the material that they use, so it's just like a classic shirt. It's not cropped either, which I really like because I'm kind of straying away from the cropped look most of the time because I've been wearing a lot of low-waisted pants and I just don't want too much stomach exposed, just a personal preference. But this is just a good plain t-shirt for the winter, also the spring as well. And then the last thing that I got from Brandy Melville are a pair of cargo pants and they're green. They're kind of like an olive army green color and they are low waisted again, like everything I'm buying. They've got these like drawstring things to adjust them so that's nice then they have all these pockets so they got ones in the front and on the side and there's another one on the side and in the back and i just needed some more pants that aren't jeans because everything i own is pretty much jeans and sometimes you just want to switch it up and try something new these are also like a pop of color but it's not too bright where you feel like you can't style it with anything. And I feel like these are good for transitioning into spring because green is a very springy color as there starts to be plants growing again and color outside. I can wear this with some browns and blacks and gray for the winter time when it's all dark and sad. But then in spring, I can wear it with some light colors and some florals and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for that. The next store I'm gonna show you is Garage. Probably my favorite store to shop at. I love their pants. I'm wearing a pair of their pants right now. Some low-waisted jeans. Love their pants so much that I had to pick up another pair. These pants I actually got on clearance, so they're a little bit different than what I would normally buy, but I'm happy I picked them up because I've worn them quite a lot now. And they're these green, army pants. They're kind of similar to these now that I realize doing this video, but that's okay. We're gonna sneak past that because they're different styles. These are a flare jean sort of. They're very flared more than my like boot cut style jeans. They're definitely like a wide flare. 
so that's fun i love to wear them with my uggs they're low-waisted again and they're made with this like thick pant material not as stretchy as like some jeans would be they've got this really cool button closure right here where it's got like this silver button and this kind of like flap that goes across where the normal button is and then the pockets are really cute too they're like those square pockets in the front literally got these pants for like $20 on clearance. I think they're even still selling these on clearance. I don't know why they're on clearance. I guess nobody wants to buy them, but I think they're really fun and super cute. The other thing I got from Garage is this sweater, which is like a fun layering piece. It's this cream color and it's like knit or crochet. It's probably knit, not crochet, but it's got like these holes in it, which is really cool. Kind of reminds me of like a fishnet. Fishnet tights are like an actual fishnet too. It's got this like wide collar with like this interesting hem. Don't really know how to explain that, but it kind of rolls over itself. I've been loving like a wide neckline. I could have got this in like a bigger size and then like worn it off the shoulder, but I just got my normal size because it was already like a loose baggy fit and then it's cropped. So I've been pairing this with like a plain tank top underneath and then maybe if I wanted to I could do like a colorful tank top under here for a pop of color or even I could wear like a t-shirt under this as well. You can layer this so many ways which is really fun and I feel like this is an easy way to spice up an outfit. Just throw this on top of whatever you're already wearing and it will probably look very cute. Next from Urban Outfitters, I have probably the best clearance you'll ever hear of. These are the pants that I got. They are these boot cut jeans. They're like a mid-rise length, not high-waisted or low-waisted, just like average-waisted. They're called the 90s boot cut jeans. So they're not extremely flared, but as you can see, they do kind of bell out at the bottom. Guess how much I bought these for? $4.98. Not even five bucks did I pay for these jeans. That is a steal. They were on clearance for $9.99 and then the clearance section was 50% off of that. I was really shocked. These jeans are super comfortable. They're a very good fit too. I was a little bit nervous when I tried them on that it was going to be too good to be true. But no, they're perfect. And I don't own any black jeans. So I'm really happy I got these because I've been in desperate need of some black jeans. So I'm really happy that I got these and now I can make so many different outfit combinations with them. The next store we're going to move on to is Old Navy actually. I feel like Old Navy is kind of having a comeback. They're putting out some good clothes. I have two things to show you today. First being just a plain long sleeve t-shirt which is kind of boring, but it's literally my favorite long sleeve t-shirt I've ever gotten. When I tell you this is my favorite shirt, it's my favorite shirt. Like run to Old Navy to buy these if they're not sold out already. I only was able to get the black because all of the other colors were sold out in my size, but they had this super pretty like hot pink and brown and light blue that I really wanted all of those, but this was the only one in my size. So I had to do with what I had to do but it's got this really wide scoop neck, which is amazing. Loving that like wide neckline, as you can see. It's kind of like this one, but even wider. You can sort of wear it like an off the shoulder or one shoulder top if you want. That's how wide it is. It's black, so it's really hard to see. It's like a exercise shirt, but I just wear it for normal day. And it's not cropped or anything, but it hits you like right at your waist. So it's not super long. It's got ribbed material, which you can't really see because it's black, but there's the fabric. And it even has like little thumb holes, which are really fun to play with. I kind of mess around with them when I get bored. Since it's an exercise top, that's why it has the thumb holes. But just the material on this and the fit of it is perfect. I love this top so much. The other thing I got from Old Navy is a big chunky sweater because it is still winter, so yes, I can keep buying sweaters. And it's in this chocolate brown color. And I thought the knit was really interesting, that's why I got it. It's like this 3D knit looking thing. It reminds me of a blanket. It's not cropped, it goes a little bit past your waist. It's a little bit oversized, and it has like some medium balloon sleeves. They're not like crazy, 
but they definitely do like puff out a little bit as you can see right there this sweater feels like i'm wearing a blanket which is why i love it so much it's so comfortable and pair it with some like baggy jeans and throw this on top for sort of a matilda durf outfit I've been wearing a lot of like tight shirts and flare jeans, but every now and then I like to go back to the baggy on baggy combo, especially when I'm wearing a sweater. I feel like that's just perfect. The last couple of things I have to show you are some thrift finds. So I'm gonna start with this, which is this coach bag. It's like a side bag, or you could wear it across. And it's so cute, it's like tan, and then it's got this pink stitching on all the C's, and it's even like a little bit sparkly, which is so cute. And the inside fabric is also pink. This is very like 2000s, but it's in like almost perfect condition for being used. I'll probably wear this a ton in the spring and summer, like when I'm going out. It's like the perfect size. I really like bags with the long straps because the shoulder bags are get kind of annoying to carry around like on your shoulder they fall off or you're just like swinging them around so these never fall off and they're just by your side so it's a very practical bag while still being cute which is great and then lastly i have two t-shirts so first is this ralph lauren striped t-shirt which i really love and i love how it's pink obviously and it's the perfect fit literally it's like Got these short cap sleeves almost. And then it's a tight fitted shirt that's like longer than your waist, but not super long. It reminds me sort of of the fit of a Brandy Melville t-shirt, which is like my favorite type of fit. And then it's got this green polo guy right here. And then the last t-shirt is this like graphic tee. It's like a very boxy tee and it's got a picture of the Great Wall of China on it. And I'm guessing this probably says like Great Wall of China. But if you know Chinese, let me know what it says. But I'm pretty sure this is like a souvenir from the actual Great Wall of China. Just because of this tag. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because of how bright it is. But it's really faded. But it's a little logo with a circle and a Great Wall of China picture. So this could be like from the Great Wall of China souvenir shop. Which is pretty cool because... I've never been to China and low chance that I will go there just because it's so far away. But I feel like this shirt is so cute. It reminds me of Brandy Melville. Honestly, I could see them like stealing this design and putting it on a t-shirt that literally would be like the exact same size as this too. That is the last thing that I have to show you guys. Oh my god, I almost forgot to mention this sweater that I'm wearing is also thrifted. Excuse me for almost missing that. It's a super long cardigan that like goes down to almost my knees and then it just ties in the front like that. I think it's so fun and like whimsical, kind of like gothic little art teacher vibes, but it's really fun and super easy to like spice up an outfit and accessorize with it. Anyway, now it's actually the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite item was. And of course, also subscribe because I'm coming out with tons of new videos and I'm so excited for spring fashion. So make sure you stay tuned. But that's all I have for today. I'll see you in another video. Bye.